is up, Fight Fans, and happy holidays. I am Jason Burgos for SureDog.com, and tonight I'm joined by statistically the best grappler in Bellator history. On December oh, yeah. 29th, he will carry the Bellator flag into Saitama, Japan, as a representative for the brand when he faces former UFC and now current Ryzen fighter Darren Cruikshank. He is talking to me all the way from Curitiba, Brazil, and that is Goichi Yamauchi. Goichi, thank you for joining me tonight. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, Jason. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank you for the opportunity. Um, it's a pleasure to, to be talking to you again, and uh, I hope you have Merry Christmas and a happy uh, 2020 for for all of us thank, thank you, you man it's a play i mean you you are the star here no one's here to see me they're here to see you i have so many questions for you now <laughs> there are several interesting facets to this fight coming up in japan because and correct me if i'm wrong but from what I, I i looked at and found you were born in japan migrated to brazil when you were very young so you have a you know heritage there can you know confirm for me you know yeah. if that's true when you came over here you know what's the story on that and then also talk to me about your parents why they made that decision to leave japan come to brazil and and also have you been there back to japan since you came to brazil oh yeah so yeah i was born in japan um uh, half of my family, uh, they are they are in the Japan. They live in Japan. Uh, it will be a great opportunity to, to see all my family again. So I'm very happy, very excited. Well, um, the reason that I moved to Brazil is because, uh, of course, uh, life quality, mm. right? Because um, uh, I couldn't have this this uh, the, the, a quality. Interesting. Uh, especially especially because I was. Uh, uh, I used to be uh, uh, very, very sick when I was young. I don't know if it's the place or, or the house. I used to be very sick. So my mom, she decided to 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 bring me back to Brazil because she she born here in Brazil, mm -hmm. right? So uh, she decided to 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 take me to Brazil and and she said, uh, "You you're going to live here because she realized that I I could be." more um, healthy mm -hmm. in this uh, in this country mm -hmm. so um, it was uh, it was the, the best decision that she made because I, I feel I feel great here mm -hmm. I could I can remember I, cr I can remember a lot of things in Japan and one of the things that I remember that I was I was uh, I wasn't a, a, a healthy guy mm -hmm. I used to go to the hospital uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, every month. Wow. I used to go to the hospital because, uh, it's, I, like I said, I don't know if uh, it's, uh, it's a kind of an allergy or, or hmm. something. Um, uh, at that place, you know, don't don't. It, it wasn't good at all. It wasn't good to 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 me and to to all my family. So the the best the scene that she that she made is to to bring me back to Brazil. And uh, you know, uh, he, here we are. I'm alive. I'm. I'm, I'm very, very happy, and uh, I'm happy. Now, does does returning to Japan to compete mean a lot for you? Not just for you as a competitor, because you know of Japan's rich history with martial arts and all that stuff, but because of your family's ties, you know. And, and also, does this mean something to your parents and your mother and or, or your father or your relatives that might be there? Is, is it a big deal, as much as a big deal for them as it is for you? Yeah, uh, when I, you know. In my family's life, uh, you know, my, I have uh, my, of course, my, my, my uncle, my, all my family, they understand about fight, right? But when I talk with my aunt, with my mom, uh, when I always say, uh, mom, I'm going, I'm going to fight Bellator, and my mom said, all right, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this time is different. I said, mom, I'm going back to Japan. If I just, she was like, whoa, I can't believe that. You're going to fight Japan? They said, yeah, mm -hmm. mom, I'm going to fight Japan. So, uh. This one is very is very special because um, uh, I'm coming back to my you know to my to my country. Mm -hmm. uh, as you guys can see, I'm you know uh, I'm an Asian guy. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> People can see that you know that that, that is my place. Uh, I really, uh, you know I represent the the, the Japanese community. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm Brazilian, yeah. my passport is Brazilian, but um, <laughs> uh, I'm a uh, you know I 
I'm a Japanese guy. Uh, as you know, I, I was born in the in Japan, and um, I look like a, a Japanese guy. So um, <laughs> this represents a lot to me and to to all my not just for my family, but the, for the whole country. The Japanese, I know they are pretty excited to to watch this one. Are you are you expecting a lot of the, your family, you know, to be there? Are you expecting some relatives maybe you haven't seen ever or seen in like twenty something years, you know, to see them for the first time when you make the trip over there? Are there certain experiences like that you expect to have when you go over? Yeah, I expecting uh, actually uh, uh, a uncle. He's uh, he's been I think is more than uh, I think seventeen years that I don't that I don't see him. Wow. He. He was the man responsible to me uh, being here, uh, you know, being a fighter. He wow. uh, he paid all the costs when uh, when uh, I decided to go to the martial arts. Um, he helped me a lot, but we don't we don't talk uh, that often. So I hope to see him again in, in the in the in the next week. I'm uh, I'm pretty excited to you know to. To shake his hand, to give a hug, and <laughs> it's uh, I'm very excited. Now your fight at Bell Two Two Thirty Seven is a fun one, you know, because your opponent Darren Crookshank is known for being a guy that is a finisher, especially when it comes to striking. You are known for your finishing ability with grappling, you know. So both of you have clear advantages for victory in this fight. However, he actually did an interview with Mike Heck from the Body Lock MMA site. Shout out to Mike Heck and, and, and their discussion. And and Darren said a few things about you and this fight. So I, I wanted to read a couple of his quotes and get your thoughts on them. Um, now, oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> now, the, the, the first one is, he said, I don't think he's fought any strikers like me, which is interesting because I, I know you fought Syed Awad, Daniel Weichel, Michael Chandler, pretty good strikers. Do you? What are your thoughts of him saying that? Do you think he has? Th there might be something that is he different from those guys, or is he kind of talking crazy in your mind? Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, is uh, is his job? He he got he got top shit. <laughs> uh, but I don't think he, he really watched my fights. Uh, this is a different level. Mm -hmm. Not just the, on the ground or, or you know, in all the striking. Mentally, is is just another level. If he fights a kickboxing match or a boxing match, he's going to lose. He's going to get beat because, mm -hmm. like I said, uh, it's a different level. My fight is going to the ground. I don't know why, but people, uh, they uh, in the, all the fights, they 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 you know they they want to go to the ground with me, but but. Um, I don't, I don't like to say that because uh, it looks like an idiot, but uh, I have to show people that I'm good on the on the feet, right? Mm -hmm. But um, I don't think he got any chances on the feet or on the ground. I'm, I'm you know, this is uh, this is how my confidence uh, speaks to, to to himself. Um, be, I'm very confident. Be prepared for this one because if he, he thinks that he can knock me out, he's um, He's totally wrong. Now, he, another quote. He says, as long as I, stayed fo as I stay focused and sharp on my game, I don't see him getting a takedown or pulling guard. He's going to have to work really hard and take some shots to get that takedown. Your thoughts? <laughs> you don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> And he's not. He's not. He's not going to be able to take the shots, to take the pressure. He's not this kind, you know. That he can. He can make. He can stay on the game plan. That he. He's talking like he, it was easy, but it's not easy. Mm -hmm. he, he's fighting with a guy who who brings the pressure. I'm a very. I have a a lot of finish in in, in my career, so um, I'm not gonna bring an easy fight. He can't. He can't, you know. Um, he's not mentally. He's not in this level that he can stay on the game plan for the whole fight. This is a totally different. You're not facing this, you know, this bombs that you're facing. This is a totally different fight. This is a, you know, this is a Bellator top level opponent. It's totally different. Now I have another one. Now this one, this one's probably the the, the strongest. Are you are you ready for this one? <laughs> Oh yeah. Let's he go. said, 
I actually <laughs> think he's a pretty boring fighter. I'm going to have to create the show. And he also admitted that he really doesn't look very deeply into his opponents when he's scouting them. So what are your thoughts on him calling you a boring fighter? <laughs> oh, boring <laughs> fighter. All right. So um, you, ca- you call me boring fighter. All right. But I have uh, the the rating of finish of my career is, is, is probably more than 90%. Mm-hmm. Not just in professional, but um, in the amateur career, in the jiu-jitsu career. So, uh, you know, it's not make sense. Um, it's boring because uh, he's not in my, under my skin. Because I think it's very, it's very nice. I think I, I actually think he's boring because you know it's all about uh, it's different opinions. You know, so I like to see techniques. I like to see the the the, the behavior of the fighter. Uh, I, I like to see what what fighters um, have to talk for for the public. This is what uh, makes uh, a fighter excited, you know. I, I don't like uh, you know the the fighters that goes to the you know the trash the, talk. They they play a stupid game playing, tr- not just the trash talk. I'm not I'm not worried about the trash. Talk. I think it's. Been, I don't. I don't like trash talk. I like mental where mm, it's right. totally different. When you use your 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 talk to beat your opponent, it's all good. But trash talking like it's trash. It's trash. It's not. It's not something mm-hmm. that brings values. It's trash. So I don't like it. When uh, it's just like uh, a Connor, Connor McGregor. People say uh, he 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 uses a lot of trash talk. No, no, no. This is not trash talk. This is a real shit because. He can talk to the to his opponent and make you know the the, the motion uh, comes to the to the to the mm. to the cage. He 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 knows how to yeah. do it very good. So, um, but uh, coming back for our for, for our talk, um, uh, we talk about being mm-hmm. boring, right? Uh, I like I like my style. I like um, I like my personality. I think uh, it's just a matter of time to be uh, recognized uh, because of it. And uh, of course, my my you know my my fight style. It's been uh, I've been growing up with uh, you know uh, in all these years. I'm developing all uh, skills and abilities. Uh, it takes time to show the world, and uh, I'm pretty sure that I will uh, I will show people who. This I really is am because- also a lot of fun because it is a promotional clash. You know, as Crookshank is is one of Ryzen's more notable lightweights, along with looking to to get another W for yourself and closer to a title shot. Do you take pride in going into this bout as a representative of Bellator? You know, and do you feel like an added pressure to get the win for the brand, or you just want to get that W? You you worry about that brand stuff after the fact. No, there's no pressure. Uh, I'm actually I'm very happy, you know, to be representing the Bellator. I know, I know, um, I know this is an important fight for not is a, is an important show. Yeah. Not the fight. The fight is not important for the division. Uh, Darren Down, you know, he's not a top. Uh, he's not top in the in the lightweight division, but it's important for you know Bellator. I think uh, I feel. I feel very um <coughs> how can I say it um uh, uh I feel a lot of uh, honor yeah. to be representing uh you know Bellator because uh, I know that Bellator choose the best fighters to be representing the the company in the in the last show in the of the year mm-hmm. especially because it's you know it's happening in Japan the 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 last show, the last show in Japan the you know used to be uh, the most important show yeah yep of the you know when the, in that times mm-hmm. of uh, Dynamite K one yep. and Pride so uh, this is a so very we're important to show Patricky Pitbull because we're talking about being on the show and and it's a big deal and it's an honor and and, and some of the big names on it. and he I believe is on the show too now you were supposed to fight Patricky in September of last year but the fight you know never happened you have fought 
many of the top guys in the Bellator lightweight division. Is that a fight you would still like, and maybe it would be something you would like next with Patricky, or is maybe about with Benson Henderson something you're a little bit more interested in next, assuming you know you beat Darren Crookshank on the twenty ninth? <coughs> this is not not you know uh, anybody that Bellator put in front of me, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight, but. Uh, if I could choose a fight, um, this is not this is not an uh, interesting fight for me now. Hmm, okay. Because um, I want to fight the guys, you know. I want to, especially because Patrick he's not even Bellator now. He's in the he's fighting Ryzen, mm -hmm. so it's totally different. The two fights that you know that, that I want to make it make it happen is uh, Ben Henderson. It's my first option and fight for the title with uh, Patricia. If I cannot make this this two fights, I want to fight Michael Chandler. I want my redemption against mm -hmm. the Michael Chandler. Now, speaking sure. speaking of P Patricio and the title, I'm glad you brought him up because that's where I was going to go to next. Um, it is you know he's in he's a champion. He's also the featherweight champion, but he's in the Grand Prix for the featherweight division, and he's not going to be defending that lightweight title until he's done with that. And who knows? He can be all the way into this tournament till late next year, and it's putting the title on you know holding it up. One is it frustrating while having to watch this, having him be in the tournament holding up the lightweight title, and also do you kind of wish the U UFC, um, the Bellator would kind of take, you know, an idea from the UFC and maybe do like an interim title fight until Pitbull is ready to come back and defend that lightweight title. Would you, you know, want something like that? Especially because you mentioned you, you know, you're close to a title fight already. Get another winner, Crookshank. You know, you you could easily be someone who's in an interim title fight, if, you know, for the lightweight division. Yeah, for me, it's very it's very interesting uh, to make uh, interim belt, but. Um... This is a is a kind of a this is this is a concern for Bellator because they don't like to make uh, the interim belt. Yep. I think I think they they made uh, just uh, two or three times in the history of the company. They don't like to make these things. Um, actually, um, there's a some some sometimes that I that I talked to with a guy from Bellator. I supposed to be fighting Michael Chandler. Then I asked for him. Uh, I asked him something like. Uh, we're, we're going to fight for interim bell or something because the the, uh, the champion is he's out mm -hmm. and he oh yeah he well, Primus was out right yeah yeah, yeah. he kind of laughed he said he said we don't we don't make this kind of bullshit here in Bellator <laughs> we're not like UFC <laughs> I said okay <laughs> so uh, I don't believe that mm -hmm. it's going to be that easy but for right. me it's the best option to make the interim bell mm -hmm. for sure now. Last question. You have no fighting nickname. You know, you're not like Goichi something Yamauchi, which I dig. You know, I appreciate that you don't have any nickname. But with all the success you have had in the sport, especially because of your nasty grappling, I feel like a nickname is kind of warranted now. It, 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 it's, it's time for it. Now, I have been told <laughs> by fighters, usually like training par partners or coaches are usually the guys that come up with names for fighters and they just give it to them and just sticks like that. But I want to be the first journalist to come up with a nickname so i'm going to throw some by you and see if you like right. any of them and tell me what do you think of them now the first All one right. the viper goichi the yamauchi viper. what do you like how about that the viper no 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 <laughs> Not the viper. The viper. Ne next one <laughs> <laughs> how about goichi mumushi mamushi yamauchi because a mamushi is a japanese pit viper snake Goichi Mum. Mamushi Yamauchi. <laughs> it looks weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I think it's perfect. Yeah. I ha I have to write down to see how how it looks like. <laughs> all right, all right. Here's another one. Here's another one. The neck collector, Goichi Yamauchi. Because wow, you have a lot of a... rear naked choke finishes. Yeah, yeah. It looks a little a little bit better than the other ones. <laughs> the, the net, the net, the neck collector, right? The, la the last fight was a was an arm collector. Yeah, yeah, but, that's true. That's so. true. But I mean, going through your history, you got a ton of rear naked chokes. I think the neck collector. But how about one more? One more. It could be a quick, easy uh, one. Goichi right. subs Yamauchi. You know, subs like short, short for submission. And maybe yeah. you never know. It can transition to a subway sponsorship. Yeah. There you go, subs. Yeah, it's a uh, it, it's a uh, it's good idea. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't get I can't get a sponsorship with this nickname. There you go, yeah. there you go. <laughs>